All right, everybody, my lovely friends. Um, there's my baby, and I'm going to do a reveal of her. And this is the second time I've shot this video. I just want you to know. Um, because right in the middle of all my pontificating, uh, her, her face was revealed. And so I started the whole thing over. But I just wanted to show you, um, talk a little bit about this baby before I reveal her. Show, show you some of the outfits that I have for her. Um, and... The fun th part was, is last night I had her together except for her head. Her hair was still drying inside. So I took that time to go through all my doll things to look for some special items for her. And I, it was more fun because I found a whole bunch of stuff. And one of the things I found was, and this is brand new from like eight years ago. It's a Will Beth little sweater outfit. And this is knit. And it has these cute triangles on it. And that goes with this hat that has the pink pom-pom and the embroidered roses with the pearls. That And these little booties match that set perfectly. And I hope you're getting it. I'm really excited, ladies, so I'm probably not even doing this very well. But And then there's the little sweater think the sweater is beautiful and you know I have to apologize because I work full-time so I can't I don't can't film when it's light outside so I have to use lights and sometimes we're gonna get shadows and I apologize for that anyway that's the sweater and let's set that over I cannot oh get that open and then this is an out this is a beautiful handmade special custom made dress that I had made um years ago too that I that I never really put on a doll but I had it made anyway and it'll fit her perfectly it is a very long gown has eyelet lace and the satin ribbon and it's a knit and it has a satin ribbon bow oh I just I am so sorry about the light. In fact, I'm going to take care of that right now. Hold on. Okay, I think that's going to be a lot better. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, here's the top of it. It's this gown and it has the lace and lace, kind of a cream color, and the little puffy sleeves, and she, she just went all out. Eyelid around the ribbing. And so it's very long. It'll look very pretty. Has snaps in the back. And the ribbon goes around the back. Of course, that'll look much better when it's on her. And then here's the little the matching bonnet. Love these kind of bonnets. And then it has little matching bloomers too with the same lace and the ribbon so here's that and let's see what else okay I found this bought this off of eBay I think I even showed you in a haul these are vintage kimonos that have been hand embroidered and they will be darling on Camille and this baby you know, with a little diaper underneath. And let me see. And this one is brand new, but it's vintage. And it had been in a plastic thing for years. And it has Bambi on the one side and the little flowers and everything on that. And it has the bow. And it's the kim kim kimona. And it's flannel. And I just adore this. And I did order, I've got from Bulgaria, if you can believe it, um, two, ba uh, two Bambi pa Nook pacifiers um, that will go with that. And, um, okay, I found this little outfit, this little dress that I, it's a Nanette baby. It'll fit her perfect. It's pink, 
pink, kind of a pink eyelet with little pink roses and lace. And has cute little pink pants that have the ruffle bum. So that'll that'll be cute. Okay, you're gonna fall open again and I'm gonna be real upset. Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, and then I found um, this. This cute little thing at Target. So she can wear that. And but I wanted to share especially some things that she had from her Auntie Katie. And Auntie Katie actually sent these <laughs> um a couple years ago almost. Yeah, because it's my birthday's coming up, and she sent these for my birthday, and I had just gotten my Esme from um, Crystal Wynn, and she had Ella, and we did a few 20 things, but she had sent me this, and this is just darling, and it will look really cute on her, and it has the little spaghetti straps, and has these beautiful roses, and that satin bow, it's gorgeous, and to go with that, we have the uh, pants that have the little bell bottom pants and I even checked the size on this and it is newborn um, little bell bottom pants that match this and so she's going to be wearing that soon and I thought I have to show that to Katie so that was something I found that I've never worn before and this was something else that Katie sent me in the same package that I'm excited to put on her too. She's never worn this. I mean, of course she's never worn it, but I've never put it on another doll. And it's a lace um, little bubble romper that's sleeveless that has a cute satin bows on it. And it doesn't it look like Katie. And um, I love her taste in baby clothes. So this will be great. And so she's going to be wearing that. So anyways, I did. I found those items and um, I'm excited I have a lot of little outfits to put on her but this this is the story and then I'm gonna open her oh and then I've got this cute uh, nook pacifier and it it's a modified one and it has the little bears on it but I found that the nooks really fit her face so much better. I had these darling Tommy Tippy ones that I think I'm going to have to put magnets in and use for Camille because they don't look good on this one. Anyway, but what I did find, and I was so excited, was this beautiful bonnet. And this bonnet came, and it's a Wilbeth bonnet, and this bonnet came when I did the box opening for my Esme that I got from Crystal Wynn, she was wearing this bonnet, and she looked so precious in it. And I put it away someplace special. But have you ever put things away so well to keep for another day, and you end up uh, and it keeps special, and then you can't even remember where you put it? Well, that's how it was, and I had torn the place apart a co uh, about a year ago looking for this bonnet and because I wanted to put it on Camille well um, I just thought you know I've got all these clothes I don't know what I'm gonna do I can't find the bonnet well I found it today when I opened a, a, one of my chests and that I hadn't been in for a while that I found all these other things and I found this bonnet and so I'm so happy because I have it for her now, before I reveal this baby, I just want to give you a little history. Um, and I'm, you may have guessed already from the way I've been talking. Uh, first off, this baby, her, with the, 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 the kit was painted by my daughter Elizabeth, who also painted my Charlotte that you all love. And I had asked her to do that for me and I've had this kit now for a while and it's amazing that I even was able to get this kit when I um, 
before I sold my Sophia, which was the Esme kit that Crystal Wynn painted for me, um, that was at, she painted my kit. And what had happened was my husband had told me that I had a certain amount of money for Christmas a couple of years ago. It'll be going on three years, I think, in December. And he said, you have a, you have a uh, couple of, um, I'm going to give you a few hundred dollars, and I want you to get the kit of your dreams that you can. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, you have no idea how hard that is to do, but I'll, I'll get a really nice kit. Well, I love Laura Lee Eagles, and I have painted a few of hers, but I have sold them. And um, when, uh, you know, about four years ago, four or five years ago, when Quinlan came out, I got online to get that girl, and I missed her. She was sold out in, I think, less than ten minutes. And I was so sad because I totally missed her. And then all my friends on my forums were doing um, her. And I did never got a Quinlan. Well, and I had missed out on Everly, too. Well, then um, Esme came out. And I got there. I was ready, set, go to to, to reserve that doll. I had my computer. I had everything ready. I was actually on the Laura Lee Eagle site and um, it came up and I got in there and I put, and it said that I got her and I was all excited, but then it said, wait, you know, then it was waiting, 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 waiting. And then um, it came back and said, there's been an error and by that time, I missed it. I, I I lost out on the opportunity of getting her, and I was ready. I was I was so upset. So I got on my forum, and I to, I you know a lot of people on the forums were getting you know multiple um, Esme kits, and so one lady said, "Yes, I have one. You can buy her," and so. Don't, right then and there, I said, okay, I'll send you the money right now. She said, no, don't send me the money. Wait until I um, actually get the invoice from Laura Lee Eagles to make sure I got it. Because there was some kind of snafu in the um, actual ordering. So I said, okay. And then, you know, I waited and waited. And, you know, a couple of months went by. And then she emailed me and she said, yes, Laura Lee e Eagles sent me an invoice for two. Um, she said, Do you, okay, so you can pay me now and this is how much. And then she said, and if you don't want her, I will be glad to have two. Well, the way she said it made me feel kind of bad. And I said, well, you know, by that time, you know, I really, I didn't think I had the money and it'll be all right. And I don't even know why I said all that. So I turned her down and she was excited and she got to have two. Well, I regretted that forever. And so about nine months later, when my husband said, okay, you can have the money to do this, I thought, you know, I was looking at kits and for myself, he wanted me to have the doll. He didn't want it to be sold. He wanted this to be for me. And I said, okay, so I wasn't finding anything that I liked. And then I got the Brainiac idea to go on my forum and advertise and say, I really want an Ask Me kit. I'll trade you this this many kits, limited edition kits, for one Ask Me. Well, I had two people write me and say, yes, I'd love to do that. So... um I traded, I think, an Elise kit. Um, I traded an Elise kit, and I traded a Romy Stridum kit. Um, and now I can't even remember what the other one was, but it was equally as nice. It was the ni three really nice kits. So she was all happy, so we traded, and I got my Esme, and I was all happy, and I was going to paint the doll, and then I ended up, a few months later, sending her to Crystal and asked her to do it. And at the time, she said, well, do you like this? Yes, I like that. So then I got Sophia. 
And I loved Sophia. Don't get me wrong. I loved her. I still love her. I love seeing Wendy um, display her. It's just so uh, lovely to see her. Um, but there was just something missing that I couldn't really bond with her. And I thought, you know, this isn't really how I wanted my Esme to look. And um, so I ended up selling her to, to Wendy. And then I thought I'd be okay with that, and then I wasn't okay with it. A few months later, I thought, oh my gosh, what an idiot I was. I loved that doll, was beautiful. What is wrong with me? I'll never get another as me. And it bugged me and bugged me. And, of course, I was talking to Katie about all this, and it just, I thought, oh, what, what an, I'm just kicking myself. Well, then... I, I contacted the lady, the other lady that had the Esme kit that I ended up not trading with. And I asked her, I said, Kathy, do you still have that kit? And um, she wrote me back and said, yes, I do. And I said, well, I have this kit, I, a, a Penny kit, an Atticus kit, and an Indy kit. Um, would you be willing to trade for Esme? And, you know, because Esme was going for a lot more than four or $500 at the time for a kit. But Kathy said, yeah, I'll do it. So she, we traded and I got her and I've had her since December. And um, that's the story. So I know you know who this little girl is. And then I went into my doldrums about... Um, my channel and reborns and got depressed and all this about that you know we i think we all go through it and then that's when katie says you need another baby and i said yeah i do you know and i thought well i'll do a little boy and then i thought what am i doing i'm just gonna take the time now and do esme and you know what honestly guys it's been the biggest shot in the arm and so Here's my girl. I'm going to go ahead and just unwrap her. And my, my daughter painted her. And she used a color palette that I love. Which is the same as, as Saskia. And it's a, a very babyish. I don't know if you can really see this. Maybe I can get in here. But it's a very babyish, um, uh, creamy color. Uh, skin tone and with the little highlights of the red and the the little oh and the feet with the blue and the red and they're all done really nicely she's got a lot of color but she's very light and I know if you've been looking at my Instagram you've been seeing some rooting going on and that's for this little girl and I wanted a blonde, blonde baby. And there she is. And now her, I had her hair so cute, but it has the, um, since she's been, it, it, there she is. And she's wearing an outfit that was given to me in the same box by her, Katie three years ago or two years ago and um, and I thought you know I'm so I love this dress and so she's in that she just looks so gorgeous with her um, blonde hair and her pink skin she has very blue eyes and I'm gonna go in as far as I can with her little eyes and it's kind it's hard just to tell on these with these cameras and i have to tell you cup another couple of things she does not have rooted eyelashes and i know that that's always a preferred thing is to have rooted eyelashes for realism or whatever but you know what i've rooted eyelashes plenty and I went to root this girl's eyelashes on Saturday night, and I almost ruined this doll. I'm telling you, the needle went right. 
And when I was doing it, I don't know how I did it, but it went right straight through and came out over here. And it was stick. Oh, and so she had a little owie that, <laughs> and it was such a mess that I was uh, told my husband, I, uh, you know, how you get, I was just like screaming because I was sitting there and we're watching TV and I'm, doing this and he says forget it forget it you don't need to root the eyelashes just put them on applied and I did and I love them they're beautiful I just love them they really highlight her little eyes little face and um, she's got this great hair from Kathy King and um, I did it pretty curly tonight but uh, it can curl up like this, and it goes all the way around, curl on the side if you want, and, you know, and it has nice little curl in the back and a great, I have a great swirl back here, but we'll show you that later, and uh, there's my girl in her pretty blue dress that her Auntie Katie gave her, and she didn't even know she gave her. Anyway, and I really wanted a, a pretty little Scandinavian blonde girl because, um, according to my DNA from Ancestry.com, is I'm 32% Scandinavian. Well, my brother immediately calls me up and says, I told you you were adopted. Oh, he's so funny. But no, I mean, we, we do come from German... Uh, major, I'm half German. My father was is my grandparents were both born in Germany, and uh, that's a whole other story of where the Scandinavian comes from. But of course, the DNA is in there for the German, and for the the Welsh, Welsh, Scottish, and Irish. So, which is on my mother's side. And anyway, but I thought, oh. I just kind of wanted to celebrate the blonde and the Scandinavian and just do that. I love blonde Esmies and she's different. So I need a name, guys. And I've thought of a few. Originally, I thought I wanted to call her Sylvie. I read a book and the girl's name was Sylvie and I loved it. And that's French. Um, but then I thought, well, and I'm still leaning towards Sylvie, but I thought maybe you guys could help me with... Um, I could, these are the name choices that I have. Uh, Bronwyn, which is Welch. Rhiannon, which is also Welch. And Megan, which is also Welch. I, I wanted to keep it in the family. And um, then we have Annalise. And I love Anna, I love the name Annalise too, and that's actually French, and Sylvie's French too. So, if you guys, uh, I'll put those little name choices down in the description, and then um, maybe you can vote on those, and we'll, you know, I'll see, we'll come up with one of those names. So, and I have her her certificate, and I was going to bring that out, too, to show you. But I'll do that on her next video, because I was just so excited I couldn't do it all. And I've been going on for 20 minutes, and you guys have been listening to me for 20 minutes. And I hope you don't get sick of seeing this girl, because I'm telling you, if there was anything that was going to get me on the stick and get me excited about doing videos again, it is her. And um, I love all my babies, and um, of course, and it just I've been in the doldrums, and now I'm back. So this is my little girl, my sweetest little baby girl, and I hope you love her. And I'm just going to back out so you can see that beautiful dress again that Auntie Katie gave her and I know she's going to be watching this and so she's going to be excited and I wanted to make sure she wore something from Katie because Katie was the one that inspired me to get all of this done and she is my dream kit and I'm just as grateful as can be um, that I was able to get another one and 
have her because she's next to impossible to get now. And I know that the, it was because I needed to reborn her. And that was what my husband had in, had in mind anyway. And he loves her. So that's the important. Anyway, thank you. And I'll be back in a day or two. All right. Bye now.